Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre. Welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. Now each week I upload a new video like this. so. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and guys, please, if you like the video, do not forget to hit the like button. Let's get started. So once again, guys, thanks a lot for all your support, your comments, your likes, and sharing the video. This is helping the channel a lot, so keep doing that, keep hitting that like button, adding a comment, share the video. Thank you very, very much. As usual, we are gonna get started with the Dixie. We are looking at the weekly time frame here. And as you see guys, uh, the Dixie has a bearish week last week, um, testing the 92 level, which I mentioned as a key area here, because as you see, if we look left, this level been tested many times as a support level, and um, we might see some bullish defense. Now, if they fail to defend that level, as you see here, this area is pretty open all the way down toward the uh, 89 88 area down here so um yeah it's going to be very very interesting to see what will uh, the bulls do at this level next week so uh, last week there was the break below this key swing which was an important level that got broken and the market kept pushing to the downside and that's very very normal if you don't have support if you don't have a structure so most of the time the market will keep moving until they reach a support level which we knew that 92 was a good one to uh, to be as a target as you see here uh, looking left so now this uh, is already done target uh, reach it and the market uh, did find some support it could be also profit taking actually at such a level so um, this does not need to be that all the bulls now entering the market and will push the level uh, sorry will push the dollar all the way back up so it is a level of interest we knew that there might be some support and uh, potentially some profit taking so the dollar is uh, continuing uh, the weakness here and as i said in the beginning of this video if this 92 area down here got broken next week so if you see something like this happening a a big break and close below this level on the daily then you might see further continuation and as i said looking left here there is not much after these levels as support until we start reaching these areas which means 89.50 down here is a potential next target now before all that we might see a little bit of a correction up here uh, at least uh, in my opinion at least potential retest toward this area here so if you are bearish on the dollar i think it's time to um, wait a little bit to see if this market gonna make a correction back here and then start giving you bearish evidence for the uh, continuation otherwise it might still be a good level for the bulls for to defend this long term so it will be one leg like this correction breakout retest and continuation this this is still possible but we take it one step at a time so that's why we call these weekly forecasts or analysis and for one week i think it would be enough to wait and see if you're gonna get a correction somehow if you get bearish evidence here you look for a reversal and further downside or a break below and then really a quick move to the downside so uh, that's what i'm seeing here on the dollar gold um still pushing to the upside if we go to the daily time frame we see that now gold is trading back above the 200 moving average on the daily time frame we have a nice sequence of higher highs and higher lows looking good for now but it did also reach a, a very interesting level of resistance looking left it failed here once failed here failed here and now another attempt to uh, break higher so where the price is right now is a potential uh, selling area for the bears uh, <clears throat> keep an eye on this level for more upside 
the bulls need to uh, break above this level on the daily time frame to then look for retest and continuation otherwise we might see another rotation back down on gold at least a retest of this previously broken structure might happen on this market so where the price is right now is a very interesting resistance and you might see a little bit of a selling pressure pressure or a uh, at least a correction here before further upside oil did reach uh, the uh, potential market objective which i mentioned many times the 70 area got tagged a couple of times on the lower time frame checking the daily looking good here with uh, a nice uh, higher low coming right here but again the 70 area was a key level that i mentioned as a potential resistance we will see now it is looking good as a um, some kind of an inverted head and shoulder though but for more upside they really need to close above that 70 on the daily time frame as far as that is not the case we might start seeing uh, oil getting a little hammered here back down uh, and uh, making a uh, reversal to the downside so keep an eye on this area guys this need to be broken on the daily time frame holding above it to then you can start looking for further upside otherwise right now we've got one failure here one failure here and it might start moving a little bit lower if we go down to the one hour time frame you see this nice double top here with a broken neckline so next week if they fail to break higher I'm expecting a reversal back down toward these areas toward the 67 area down here as a potential um, target for the bears EURUSD also uh, did reach a level of interest if we look left we had this swing high here and uh, if we look further uh, left here we see that there was uh, all these attempts here as you see uh, that failed there is a lot of structure at this area uh, it got tagged once uh, on Friday got rejected after that so 1.19 I mentioned that level previously and if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that the trend is still intact looking nicely um, moving to the upside inside this uh, channel here you could mark a channel like this on uh, on this one and keep following uh, following it seeing if it's gonna breaks to the downside or, or not but all in all nice bullish move to the upside at the moment we might see a little bit of a trouble here again because it is a nice resistance level and um, yeah what i'm expecting early next week is a little bit of a correction here any failure to break higher i'm looking for a correction back down to the bottom of the channel now if the bulls hold the channel and start giving you bullish evidence you might see another attempt to the upside otherwise if they fail to hold the channel i'm expecting a move back toward 1.18 and again for further upside and a stronger move to the upside they need to close above this previous high on the daily time frame now do not forget that we had this whole channel here uh, without any uh, bigger correction we had one day correction here that's all and then the market kept pushing higher so it could be time for a little bit of a correction or at least a nice higher low to start happening on the euro so that's why i'm thinking maybe early next week a little bit of a slowdown especially if they fail to break higher above this previous um, swing high here sterling also been looking good pushing to the upside trading back above the 200 moving average and um, the only structure we had here was this um, swing here it is not a major swing but still there was many days here that uh, uh, that this market failed to break higher and kept pushing to the downside so we should keep an eye on this level anyway but also keep in mind the previous move was a higher low a higher high a break above this structure this is also a bullish signal at the same time so it is a little bit tricky and if we go down to the four hour time frame you see that the market did break above this neckline here and above the 200 moving average on the four hour uh, so a little bit of a correction now is possible especially that this market did reach the level of a little bit of a structure looking left they had this we had this move also as well so it is not um, 
totally strange that you see some profit taking at this area last week so keep an eye on this level the bulls need to break above this area for further upside this is going to be a key level but as you see here on friday we've got um a little bit of a rejection back down could start it with a profit taking and um, so this is not um totally a, a uh, something that we could call total reversal yet uh, because after such a huge move here there is surely some uh, orders left here and that's why you're probably seeing this uh, reversal happening all in all i think if this market failed to make a new high next week the next move gonna be back down toward this broken structure on the sterling so keep an eye on that for further upside they really need to break and close above this level on the daily time frame so i want to see a daily candle breaking and closing below the uh, sorry above this level to call this further continuation toward the next area of interest which is going to be these two tops uh, up here that would be the bullish uh, target if the breakout happen early next week otherwise the correction might be a move to the downside here before the next bounce higher <laughs> USD Jappy, <coughs> nothing new here. Checking the daily time frame, you see we have uh, wicks coming from both sides, still going sideways, so nothing new on this one. <coughs> the range is still intact here. There was a fake out here. There was a little bit of a move, move lower, but all in all, I'm marking uh, this higher level here as a level of interest because of uh, there is more test toward this area than these uh, fake outs here and same will go for the upside i'm marking this level as the level of interest uh, i'm seeing this a fake out only so i'm not using the top here as a uh, level of interest so keep playing this range until you have a break out of it because all that w that might happen even if it break below you're gonna see that we might find some support back down here at 109.20 and if they break and hold above here the next target gonna be the 110.90 up here as a potential trouble so for now it is going inside the narrow range and um, we should keep playing that range until it breaks out of it usd chief also going sideways nothing new still support down here keep buying this level as far as there is no break below it for a retest back to the stop or to this area here if you see a break above this next target gonna be this previous high up here so nothing um, huge here even if they break to the downside then your next target gonna be down here pretty easy stuff um, if this get broken there is nothing on the way looking left to hold this market until we reach this level down here so pretty straightforward stuff at the moment play this little range and if they break out of it target one target two if they break to the downside this is your target down here on usd chief usd cat also broke structure to the downside checking the daily time frame trading at around the 200 moving average did dip inside this little support area still have a chance to tag this low down here if they manage to close below this structure on the daily time frame but as for now they did find a little bit of support could be also profit taking guys but keep in mind the previous structure here got broken strongly a little bit of a correction and then one more to the downside so if we go down to the one hour time frame we see it more clearly what was the level that got broken this is a nice area that got broken we've got a consolidation and one more leg to the downside now since the market did reach this area down here we knew that this might act as support that's why it is marked on the chart i'm expecting here if they keep failing to break lower a retest back up toward this structure here so keep an eye on that level down here if there is no break below you might still see a correction back up early next week Aussie USD very strong move to the upside still moving nicely so now this market did close above this these previous highs on the daily time frame checking the weekly a couple of uh, 
strong uh, candles right above the 200 moving average so they broke below it to then go back above it once again and we also have a break and close above this previous high which is also an important sign that we might see a little bit further upside on this market so we go back to the daily time frame this level is now totally broken it's been a, a nice consolidation here that got broken and on the one uh, sorry on the four hour time frame also we have the same uh, momentum good trend with higher highs and higher lows so for next week the first thing we should be watching is if this market gonna correct back down toward this previously broken structure if this market does um, a correction down here give you bullish evidence at this level you might see one more push to the upside at least and for New Zealand the same thing here back above the range on the daily time frame back above the 200 moving average on the daily it is a pretty extended move so I'm expecting a little bit of a correction and at least at least I'm expecting a, a retest back down here to this previously broken range to then start looking to see if the bulls will show up and give you a continuation to the upside but keep in mind keep an eye on this here it is pretty extended and the correction could be bigger so it does not need to be just a retest of this structure and reversal it could be a bigger correction before it start moving higher maybe <coughs> all the way to retest the 200 moving average which might be somewhere in mid range when and if the correction start to happen and uh, that will be it for this week guys thanks a lot once again do not forget to hit that like button add a comment or share the video. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye.